second video in our five portals of possibility with Michael Stone. Michael and I did a webinar called Embracing Uncertainty. And out of that, we decided to do five part video series over meditations between the new moon and the full moon. So this exploration is around opening. And for me, opening is about learning how to open to everything. So the second portal of possibility is learning, retraining your being that anytime any challenge or confusion or surprise arises, that you open rather than close. So this meditation will be to guide you to learning how to find that feeling sense of opening in your body. And again, it's something that we need to train ourselves to do over time versus closing. So when we open, we have more access to our intuition, to our inner knowing, to the present moment, and also to slowing down, to choosing how we want to relate to the world. So let's go ahead and go in together. Close your eyes. Now I always like to have us start by putting one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly and take a breath. <sighs> and as you exhale, make a sound. Again, big inhalation. <sighs> Beautiful. Bringing your attention inside. And let's start by having you explore what does it feel like to close. So when you are scared, when you're confused, when you're challenged by something and you close, how does that feel in your body? So think about a situation, might be really recently, it may have been from years past, where you closed to something that happened that was hurtful or harmful. And notice in your body, what does it feel like to close? What is closure? So for now, just breathing into that closure, noticing the closure. And paying attention to where exactly do you experience closure in your body? So you might notice it in your belly, in your hands, in your jaw. What does closure feel like? Good. Okay, now that you have that noticing in your body, go ahead and stand up for a minute, just wherever you are, and just shake your body. So you're just gonna shake it out. Good. <clears throat> so you can shake your hands, shake your feet, shake your hips, shake your shoulders. Okay, sit, close your eyes, take a breath. And now asking yourself, what is opening feel like? What does it feel like to open? So think about something that you really love that lights you up. It may be the sunrise you saw a couple days ago. It may be your grandchild, it might be your dog, maybe a really heartfelt conversation that you had with someone. Again, it may be recent or maybe something from the distant past. What is opening? That's the question to ask yourself. What does opening feel like in my body when you're opening to possibilities, where you're opening into the moment, where you're curious? And notice what does opening feel like to you? What does it feel like that place of softening, of showing up, of sweetness? And where do you feel opening in your body? Does, do your shoulders feel softer? Do you feel a release in your belly? What 
does opening feel like for you? And notice what happens when you open. So in your body, but also in your mind. Hmm. Beautiful. Holding that sense of opening. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and be present here. So it's a little taste of what it feels like to open versus close. And we're going to go back in one more time, but I want to share this idea with you is that we're not trying to not close. So you don't want to spend your energy going, okay, I should never close. That's a bad thing. Or, or the opposite, which is I have to close to protect myself. Neither of those are true you are going to naturally close at particular times in your life and you're going to naturally open at other times it's like the the wings of a bird okay it's part of the rhythm and we can teach ourselves to open more but what i want you to ponder and play with is opening to your closure so when you notice that you're closing open to the closure, be curious about, oh, look, I'm closing. So instead of judging yourself, feeling bad about closing, making up a story about closing, open. Hi, I'm in resistance. I'm in fear. I feel really confused right now. Notice the closure. And instead of judging it, ignoring it, justifying it, just simply open to witnessing and being with your own closure. And it's often that capacity of learning how to witness your closure, be with your closure, open to your closure, that will help you find the way through of how to come back into openness or be with the closure. Okay. So closing your eyes one more time. Let's play with going in to practice opening to your closure. So going back to the time where you felt closed. Where did you feel closed in your body? What does closure feel like in your body? So again, calling that up, that sense of closure. Good, and now practice opening to your closure. And your mind's not gonna understand this. So it's not your mind that's doing this, it's your heart. So let your heart open to the closure. Noticing what happens. So as your heart opens, your being opens to the closure, simply being with the closure without trying to change it, understand it or fix it. Breathing into your full being as you practice opening to closure. I'm going to see what happens. Imagine as you move through your day, watching your body in this dance of where, what causes you to open, what lights you up, what has your heart sing. And then also noticing what causes you to close, what causes you to withdraw, what causes you to pull in. And can you open through your opening and also open through your closing?
That's the dance. So imagine going through your day, practicing opening to everything, opening to the things you love, that bring you joy, that bring a sense of sweetness, and also opening to the things you don't love so much, opening to the fear, to the self-doubt, to the hurt. Practice the art of opening. Beautiful. And when you're ready, again, you can open your eyes. Let your meditation, your life over the next couple of days, as we're moving from new moon to full moon, to practice this sense of opening your being to everything. And you can practice in a lot of different ways. So enjoy the practice. It takes time, it's an art. I think of art opening as an art. And so you get to learn how to best hold yourself with love as you practice opening. Thanks so much for joining Michael and myself. He'll be doing the next uh, video. And we are inviting you all to join us in the upcoming course that we're doing about the five portals of possibility. So information is below. Much love. Bye.